Hi, I'm Mike Trapwriter, and today we'll be doing another set with the Nakul Temple Operative uh, set from which it comes from the Temple Front mission. Uh, again, this one requires you to play the, replay the missions, and well, this this is this is this revision came in the some free week event where the world will unlock each week in addition to additional bonus for that week. This one, uh, this one had a, have an had a, an announced universe tech upgrade or specialization point for completing it once per week in the box. Uh, this meant we have to learn how to speed run it as well to some degree. As since this is ground set, I'm going to, I'm going to quickly remind us about the stuff on the ground sets. Sets of, sets are groups of items that are equipped that add bonuses only when multiple items are equipped to that group. Ground sets are usually three piece sets. Only one ground set is locked currently locked behind it, the event or a Phoenix Locks box in this case. T only two sets have kits and both of these kits are actually mission rewards. Most ground sets are actually weapon, armor and shield. And that's the Run out of the way, so let's move on to the actual stats of the uh, things. Starting off with the Nakul Temple Operative Armor. It provides a somewhat decent uh, physical and kinetic and energy damage as, as, as usual, and it, but also includes as a additional plasma and toxic uh, damage resistance to most compared to most other weapons, uh, armors I mean. It also has a root and knockback resistance rating which means it's harder for, you, for them to n move uh, if enemies to knock you knock you around or pin you down in the, right, the same place. <laughs> Somewhat not, not, not particularly a bad uh, thing but uh, and actually it's pretty decent for a, a mission reward so, so not too bad. So moving on to the personal shield. This this is a is a decently high maximum shield capacity, and re rapidly regenerates after three seconds or two uh, if you decide to use a crouch button, and reduces all damages to shields by fifteen percent. But really, the big thing is when you when your shields drop below 10%, it automatically applies the time slip effect once every 60 seconds. Time slip itself summons a distortion for, for about 10 seconds. You yourself, what's the distortion, are immune to all damage and, in, and effectively invisible to enemies while distortion is alive. So, very, very, very a very much very nice thing to have to ha I'll cover that a bit later and now coming up the Nakul Temple Operative Minigun and there's two it has most as all weapons in the game has has two major firing modes you have the bolt blast and the toxin wave the bolt blast is a has a plasma a 39.7 plasma damage burst with a basically for three shots so which gives you about it also it gives a as a has a five percent chance to trigger a a plasma dot uh, over on the on your, ta on your targets and this will ignore the shield so you will go straight through to your to the health of the the target you shoot it at a slight, incre slight increase in critical chance and half second recharge for when after you fire it. So very, very nice to get way to get sh shots off. Toxin wave. Uh, it's a charge A weird and DOT. So basically, you fires a lot of uh, t that down. Fires a bit of after two seconds. Fires, uh, 
4.8 free uh, uh, toxic damage to force within 50, 50 meter cone of, of you and as no sh as and it goes through all the shields and applies to biotoxin to affected foes and biotoxin as pal gives you puts a pal toxic damage to, to onto your enemies and effectively st st stuns and slows them down and but however it to use toxin wave you do have it, you are pinned down for whilst it's charging so but you also have increased critical chance and a 12 second recharge so when you're not so you, that's you can fire that off once every 14 seconds <laughs> and now let's cover the set bonuses set bonuses set two, two set bonuses a is the edit train which is a stat bonus which means it's 2% two, two critical chance and 30% critical severity which means slightly more chance of getting critical hits and 30% more critical percent more powerful crit crits when you do get them and so uh, and then there's the free piece set now, this is the enhanced crawler mine this is a clicky power which tells you basically dr drop some as a level 61 crawler mine which will you have to tag it uh, after you for about 25 seconds this means that you need to be somewhat close to a target you can't have them going going across the map for sticking out the closest target <laughs> does quite does quite those uh, 300 kinetic damage yet with without and more and and half of that goes through a shield and leaves a touch cloud for seven seven seconds which can which also does some which will effectively hinder your 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 victim. <laughs> now, who is this set for? Uh, for people who like to tank on the ground, or just people who want to survive on the fight, this this has some decent utility in in this place. The damage bonus is actually great for most weapons, and and the shield distortion is pretty much the big thing for this. For this type of set, this set, and it, and will because uh, the big thing is it, it will reduce air, uh, all threat to you, or aggro, and will buy you time to heal yourself or finish the kill, which in advocate both cases is very much ideal. Because um, so is this set good? Honestly, yeah, the shield is the. It's one of the best, uh, but, but everything else not so much. The armor's pretty much decided to be okay, but you do you are, but there are better what better pieces of armor out there. Uh, and it, mission, the shield is considered by many the best free mission shield reward uh, in the game. And I've heard from Teacher Kirby that. She considers this is one of her go-to ground gear weapon uh, shields. However, the weapon is very tricky to use, and I've as when I've used it in the past, and it's often recommended to keep the weapon itself into the offhand slot and just use the passive bonuses from having the two-piece or three-piece set, uh, and use another weapon to actually fight. Because as a captain, you have two weapons in your slot. One active and one offhand, if I call it, I like to call it in this call this case. But this be Mike Shot Writer. See you guys next time.